Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Grim, Grim the Reaper, and today we are back again playing Find Love and Die Trying. Now this is the second chapter, so let's just get into it. If you uh, if you haven't watched the first part, I highly recommend it. By the way, okay, now let's start. In the morning, the girls and I decide to hang out in the garden outside the house. Oh wow, there's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen here before. Oh really? Really? You've never seen a tulip? What? Grandma and I only grew hiachiths back home, so nope. Hiachiths? Not even on the internet? And I thought I had to get out more. The I can't believe that the only flowers that you I ever work with our Venus fly traps. What what do you do with those? Well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab. She's a lab worker. And don't you ever find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make Venus fly traps that could walk and talk? That does sound cool. Audrey too. Literally never. Uh. It's whatever. She went away two years ago. What? Your Venus flytrap? Both my neighbor lost their pet. Both my neighbors lost their pet cats the same day too. Audrey two, or Audrey three, I should say, is a monster. I miss you, Fluffy. You sure they were lost? Tea's ready. Thanks, Violet. I got a cup for everybody. The aroma from the tea really worked out my appetite. I have prepared some treats for us as well. Please enjoy. Are we just outside the front? We spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea as we theor theorized what might have happened to Fluffy. Personally, my money's on the feline felines being the culprits. Every cat I've met had a nasty surprise up their sleeve. Where's she at? Oh, there you are, Shark Stain. Oh yeah, I forgot to pick that name. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your other soulmate candidate. <laughs> Already? <laughs> you remember what we discussed yesterday, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Yui. I almost forgot your name there. You mean something, but... This is a game show here. How could I forget? It's not like I've ever forgotten anything important before, except for, well, everything. Save the snark, save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. Ow, that's things. It'll be just between you two soul candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. If we are not chosen within these first two days, what are we to do instead? Well, we're in a tropical paradise. Think of the, think of the rest of the show as a vacation. So you mean the three girls I don't ch choose to be my two candidates just get to hang out for free on this vacation? Sounds nice. It's not like you're losing anything. Soulmates aren't real anyway. Okay. Are we on air? Just say that to the whole audience. Not much for romance, are you, Cat? How, how could you? How could you tell? Wait a minute, cat. Will we be splitting up the group after today? Nope, don't worry. We'll still be able to hang out together, and who knows where that will go. So I could still hang out with all of them? Just, you know, arrange dates? Only with the two? Okay. Phew. Good to know my battle plans will still come in handy. What? <coughs> <clears throat> I mean, friendship plans. Good to know I still get to see my new friends. Yes, sir. Oh, she's gonna try to win. Still, she still wants to win. So without further ado, Shard Stain. Who's the unlucky girl? What the f- Okay, cat. You suck. I like to spend some time today with- <laughs> Big Scarlet. Scarlet. Alright, we'll make it happen. 
Hmm, let's have Charlotte Stain star in the mansion, and ooh, I know where to bring Scarlet. Wait, so you're just planning on a scenario? Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. What the f- It didn't take long to find Scarlet. She found me first. Um, okay. Gosh, that's loud. She had just burst through my door and was trying to catch her breath as she slammed it sh as she slammed it shut behind her. Sharpstain, thank God you're okay. Oh, oh my gosh, what's going on, Scarlet? Long story short, I experimented with some of the local fauna on the island earlier. There, there's really nothing like it. It's really incredible. And uh, I messed up my intro with you earlier. And whoa, slow down. So this isn't planned then. <sighs> I made a new chemical compound that causes amnesia. It's amazing. Wow, that's not something you hear every day. The cool thing is, applying just the right amount to a person can make them forget specific things. Who they are, how to write, anything. Whoa, the bad thing is... Something slammed into the door outside. I almost jumped up from the surprise. Gimme brains and bananas! The fu- Four, what are you doing? Applying too much turns people to rabbit monkey zombies. Heck, been on eating human brains. The fa? What the frick you doing? And bananas. Oh my, oh my gosh, not the bananas. The door slammed again. It sounded like it was just about to be knocked down. Four? We need to get out of here and fast. Okay, what's this date becoming? Ah! Four busted through the door. And Blocked our only exit. Give me brains and bananas. I'll get him out of the way. It'll give you time to run. Yeah, I'm strong. I got a better idea. Oh! Scarlet blasted four of a white powder, covering his face entirely. He flailed widely for a few seconds and fell to the ground unconscious. What was that? Whoa, what was that? Uh, let's just say forward seeing all the bananas he wants now, and we'll leave it at that. Follow me. Um, okay. You made it such a big deal earlier, but you could've just done that, okay? We ran outside of the mansion as fast as we could. How did this even happen? Oh, I was afraid you'd ask that. I heard from Tara that you lost your memories, and I, I wanted to see if I could help you get them back. By giving me more amnesia? So I, uh... May have experimented on the brothers five and to see if I could erase their memories and bring them back. Um, okay. I must have done the number wrong numbers wrong. I added way too much. I didn't realize their brains were so empty in the first place. Oh. In a weird way, that's really sweet, Scarlet. Thanks. Crazy, but still, thanks. I'll fix this, I swear. Just need time to make an antidote. Okay, appreciate it. Lucky I left my tools and supplies pretty near here. We could stay there until we get an antidote. So is this whole day just gonna be evil? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Lead the way. Wait, where are the other girls? Do you think they'll still be inside? Do you still think they'll be inside? They're actually trapped inside the library right now. What? Oh shoot! We got to we got to go back and save them. Um, I don't know how to say this, but I accidentally turned them to zombies too. <laughs> so all the girls so we're on a zombie island um okay but they were a little bit mut but they're a bit much so I locked them in the library <laughs> we're doomed aren't we Scarlet and I passed the time talking about the craziness that was going on and coming with a plan to save everybody oh my gosh everyone's zombies banana wanting zombies she seems to be quite frazzled, despite seeming so put together, but I could tell she really did care about the infected. Not enough to prevent this from happening in the first place, but enough. Yeah, why so you experimented on the Brothers Five, that's one thing, but the, uh, girls? That's a little weird. I watched her build a machine that she insists can turn them back to normal, but looking at it, I can't help but be a little skeptical. What is it? Alright, it's showtime. You really think this will work? You bet! I made it after all. Looks like the coast is clear here. We walked to the outside a lot of the library undetected, but we definitely weren't alone in here. Alright, it's time to save our friends. Okay, there's the library. There they are. Brains. Okay, why? She still has her phone in hand. 
They're coming right at us. Nothing to worry about. What the f <laughs> This is pay <payback. laughs> This is payback for you guys acting your introductions. Oh. I'm sorry, what? A oh, what? Nothing. You sure that's gonna cure them? Of course. What does it look like I'm doing? Killing them! Something told me Scarlet was enjoying this a little too much. Uh, what the heck? I take my eyes off the cameras for one second, there's zombies in the house. Not for much longer, promise. Spent the rest of the day administering the antidote to each person. Each of them knocked out soon as he delivered the cure. <sighs> I, I, I'm not even sure if any of you were able to hear me talk that whole time. But did she say something about everyone, like, acted their introductions? And was that all fake? And why did you care about that so much? Okay. Not quite the first day you expected, huh? No. You could say that again. It was definitely a first, though. If you freaking pull out a mini gun, I see why I was skeptical. Cat told me that to make a day exciting, I had to get your heart racing. Um, okay. I think I did a pretty good job at that. I guess that's technically true, but aren't there easier ways? Something tells me this woman is full of some more surprises. I was about to enter my room when I felt. A familiar tap on my shoulder. Oh my gosh, Kat, it's you. Hey there, Shardstain. Got a minute? I want to make you and Scarlet jealous. It'll be good for ratings. Wait, what? Cat. I don't think of you that way. Sorry, what? You're not. You're no fun. Anyway, she opens the door to my room and walks inside. You're trying to make. I followed suit. I got some good news. I'm all ears. Turns out my strategy worked. We got enough ratings to avoid early canning. Don't get me wrong, people loved it when you knew we were the main ship, but now with Scarlet as some serious as some serious competition. Let's just say online threads went from optimism and united to downright murderous. Well, I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now at least. But that'll change quickly if our viewers don't feel like a relationship with both of them are progressing. Um, <laughs> Cat laughed and took a seat on my bed. You know, I'm curious. I'm curious how you're feeling about Yui and Scarlet. Between those two, do you have a favorite? <laughs> it's like, both of them are kind of crazy. Like, one was like enjoying, like, shooting their friends too much, while the other was like, giving death threats to the rest of them, it seemed. Probably you, I guess. Probably. I think I have a better connection with Yui right now. Probably so. It's Yui, you know. It's practically self-explanatory. She's the best. Um, okay. I said, she just said favorite. You made it sound... <laughs> She's the best. Oh, I had a feeling you'd say that. You're right to say that. Okay. I, yeah, you definitely knew. Well, we'll see where things go with Yui. Something tells me you'll get a chance to hang out with her again tomorrow. Okay. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows? You might just be the first one to make it out of here. First? Night, Shardstain. Good night, Cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Uh-oh. Huh? I see waves crash soundly against the shore and dissolve to nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream. She's next to me. Who? I can't make out her face but or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances and her hair is so nostalgic. You look like you've seen a, you've seen a ghost shard stain. You somehow can't see, I can't see your face nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. I'm fine. Don't you worry about it. I hear my voice speaking as if I were coming through an old cassette. Cassette. If you're thinking about what's going on out there now, ten bucks that it's better on this side. Out there, every day's a fight to stay alive. Here, at least there's food, shelter, a place to call home, and most importantly, 
high speed and unlimited internet. Wait, other side, I'm confused. But the high internet sounds good. I reach her hand and hold it tight. I reach for her hand. And, and people that love you. I know. And I love you too. What? Who is this? I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. What? Because it's real. It's real life. Oh, am I in a... Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Am I in a fictional world and... This person I'm talking to is real life? I'm so confused. Am I just in a fictional world? Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer. Where living isn't just following a script. Okay, am I in a fictional world or does she just mean a dating show? I'll do anything just to taste... I'll do anything for just a taste of it. We've been over this. I know. I'm just so tired of this. I... What the... What the heck are we doing here, Shardstain? I felt the same way she did, but there was nothing we could do. Not... Not if we value, valued our lives. So is she in the real wor world or this fake world we're talking about? I am so confused. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. But we are... But what are we living for? I sighed. You really wanted to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed. When should we... When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she would see it through. And I loved her for that. Who is this? I guess I guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. She laughed. You'll be the judge of that. Yeah, ten bucks. So anyway, this is going to be the end of this video. Now, this is going to be a shorter part, but if you want to see longer parts, just uh, put it down in the comments. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and consider subscribing, as well as ringing that bell. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.